Well, welcome once again to Story with Joel Johnson. Today I want to tell you a story the way I see it is David and Goliath. I want to tell it to you the way my eyes and my ears and my heart sees the story. You have the Philistines against the Israelites. We won't go into great detail. There's a war going on. The Philistines bring out their big giant named Goliath. And Goliath pretty much says, I'm going to kill you. You know, I'm going to destroy you. I'm bigger. I'm stronger. I got the weaponry. I got the power. I got everything on the outside that makes me look and appear stronger than you. Interesting concept. On the outside, I have all the power. There's nothing you can do to me. Well, the Israelites had to bring up one person to defeat Goliath. Everybody cowered in fear because they believed they were not a match for Goliath. There was an incentive that was thrown out there, and David wanted the incentive, and David felt the strength to defeat Goliath. You always got to have an incentive to defeat your giants in life, and you always got to know what the incentive is. You got to know why you're doing what you're doing. And it's got to be so compelling and so powerful that you can't live without it. And David felt that way. And so David was going to go face this giant. Well, they tried to put some armor on David. David said it doesn't fit. You know, when you try to dress things up on the outside and make you look stronger than what you really are, that's when you know you got some problems. People take positions thinking, oh, this makes me look so powerful and so wonderful. That's when you got problems. People take jobs and, and they do different things to make them look better. They, they go after advanced degrees in college maybe to make them look smarter. And people do this all the time because they want to look better on the outside while ignoring the problem which is on the inside. Well, David didn't want the outside accolades. He didn't want the suit of armor. It didn't fit him. It didn't fit him at all. But David had something Goliath never had. He had power on the inside. And he had his God. And he announced that, you know, you come to me with your outside power, but I'm coming against you with my inside power. I'm coming in, I'm coming against you with the abilities that are within me. With my God-given abilities, my God-given strength. You know, David never grew big muscles. David never grew uh, five or six feet taller. David never looked different on the outside, but he was certainly different on the inside. And David said, you know, I believe God will give me the victory over you. Now, see, here's the thing. You can tell me all you want, that you can do anything in this world, that you are capable of doing anything in this world. But the question really is, is not what are you capable of, but what are you willing to do? Certainly man can do anything. But what are you personally willing to do? What are you personally willing to go after? What are you personally willing to charge forth with? What are you going after? Who cares what you can do? What are you going after? What are you trying to accomplish? What actions are you taking? And so there was David. He said, Goliath, you come at me with your outer strength. But I'm coming at you with inner strength. Now, he had a belief in God. What is a belief? A belief is nothing more than a chronic thought. We can put it another way. Belief is nothing more than a mindset. It doesn't have to be a mystical thing. Belief is simply a mindset. It's, it's a stubborn mindset that says, this is the way it is. I believe it, and it's going to put me over in life. And so here's Goliath, his challenge. Here's his Goliath, his habit. Here's his Goliath, his obstacle. Here's his Goliath his debt. Here's his Goliath, his sickness. Here is Goliath, his family problems. And they look strong on the outside. But David said, said, something, I, said something so amazing. He said, I got something stronger on the inside that would defeat your outside. And David went after Goliath and beat Goliath. And at the end, he cut his head off. Lifted his head up, and that's why we always say that's how you get ahead in life. So Goliath and David fought. David won with his inner strength, with his inner ability. I hope you got something from the story. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you, and may you have a fantastic day.